You saw the latest video on the voltage controlled oscillator. How I used it to provide a sound indication of whether your antenna was tuned up. To prove it's not a fluke, I built it again, this time a bit neater on a circuit board. I'll use it as an RF sensor. Does it work? We'll find out in a moment. But beforehand, we'll look at the circuit and the two extra parts that I've added. Here's the rebuilt 555 VCO. Much neater with most parts on a small piece of matrix board. Here's the circuit. It's the same as before, except I've got a 1N4148 diode and a 15K resistor. That 15K resistor and the 10K pot allows you to vary the bias on the 1N4148 diode. That means you can use the 1N4148 and not a germanium diode, which is a bit dearer and harder to get. I've now got the antenna connected, a 50 centimeter clip lead. With a screwdriver, I'll adjust the trim pot so that it goes quiet. Now we'll try some RF. If it works, we'll hear a tone from the speaker. This is on low power setting, transmitting on two meters. We're trying 70 centimeters, 439 megahertz, and it's picking that up as well. We'll try some longer distances. This is the RF detector, and we're transmitting on two meters. And we're about a metre away from it. On 70 centimetres, there's also a signal. And I'll go further. And I can still hear it. The frequency is much lower, like a motorbike. This is a bit like a Geiger counter, but for RF. The stronger the signal, or the closer you are to it, the more the ticks. Not only could you use it for testing handheld transceivers, but also for fox hunting and radio direction finding as well, when you're really close to the transmitter. 